Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a special treat for you guys. We want to make a healthy carrot cake uh, with the coconut flavor and some healthy Greek yogurt icing on top. Before we start mixing and baking, I want to talk about the ingredients that we'll be using for the carrot cake. Um, before that, um, remember to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, which we have already. And you will need an 8x8 pan or a 9x9 in our case. So we're using a 9x9 pan. And remember to spray it, um, we sprayed it in this case with avocado oil, um, which is a great substitute for regular olive oil or regular butter. Um, so the first ingredient that uh, we have here, shredded carrots. We actually shredded these ourselves just to make it more natural. Um, we wanted to, to use actual carrots and shred them ourselves. We have plain Greek yogurt that we'll be using. We have our honey, and this one is great uh, because it's raw and unfiltered honey. It actually comes with the comb inside, which is edible. Then we have ghee. This one comes with Himalayan pink salt. Um, if you don't have, if you have regular ghee, you can just add a pinch of salt to the to the bowl when you're mixing it. In our case, because this already has Himalayan pink salt, we won't be adding any salt separately. Um, we have two eggs that we'll be adding. For any vegans that we have that are watching this, instead of the eggs, you can use flax egg, which is made by combining one tablespoon of flax seed with two and a half tablespoons of water. Um, then we have our vanilla. We're using organic vanilla, sorry. One of our eggs is running away. Uh, so we have that. We'll be using two different types of flour. So we have organic oat flour here and we have almond flour. Um, these are both paleo friendly. Um, they're high in protein and lower in carbs, which is great. An interesting fact about almond flour is that it comes from a nut. So if you don't use this almond flour um, quickly, you will have to store it in the fridge to keep it from spoiling. Next we have our coconut sugar. Um, and this is what gives it the coconut flavor. And also it is less processed than regular sugar, so it does make for a healthier recipe. We also have here nutmeg and cinnamon to give it great flavor. We have baking soda that we'll be using to give it a nice rise and give it texture. We'll be using organic rolled oats. We like to keep most of our ingredients in this household organic. We'll also be using uh, organic, 100% organic unsweetened coconut flakes. We have walnuts here, uh, which it's easier to chop these if you can to make the batter a little bit smoother. So we are now ready to start mixing our ingredients together. So we're gonna start with our two eggs. We'll be using a larger bowl to combine all of these ingredients. All right, so we have our two eggs. So next we have um, a third cup of honey. We're gonna pour that in. Side. We also have a third cup of the melted ghee. Now melted ghee is clarified butter um, and the way that it's made is actually by melting regular butter and what that does is that it separates the liquid fat from the milk solid and what you get is a lactose free product which is also great for, for vegans. Um, next we have a third cup of the Greek yogurt. that, we're going to add in a quarter cup of our coconut sugar. Next ingredient will be the vanilla and we'll be adding one teaspoon of vanilla to this. There you go. Once you have these ingredients together, you'll be whisking this. So once we have this first batter mixed together well, we're gonna add in one and a half cups of the shredded carrots. We're gonna fold that into our mixture. And 
And next we'll be adding our dry ingredients. For the dry ingredients, we have here, we have here one and a half cup of the almond flour. And we're gonna add in our half a cup of oat flour. and half a cup of the rolled oats. So we're gonna mix those in. Now the next ingredients that we have, that we're gonna be putting into this, are the baking soda, the nutmeg, and the cinnamon. This is where you would add the salt into the mixture, but again, because our ghee already contained Himalayan pink salt, we're not adding that um, to our mix. For the baking soda, we'll be doing one teaspoon. One teaspoon of baking soda. Then we have our cinnamon and nutmeg. So we're doing one and a half teaspoon of the cinnamon here. And half a teaspoon of the nutmeg. Combine all of this together. And it's turning into a nice texture, cakey texture that we want. So we're gonna add in the one the cup of chopped walnuts that we have here. Fold that in and half a cup of the shredded coconut, coconut flakes. All of this is gonna go into our baking pan. How does it smell? It smells beautiful. <laughs> That's what we're gonna say to our stomachs. It's okay. <laughs> we're gonna pour this mixture into our baking pan. As I said, the baking pan is already greased. We wanna make sure that it doesn't stick to our pan when we pull it out of the oven. So we're gonna get all of that into the baking pan and we're going to bake it for 25 minutes. All right, so once we have that distributed pretty well in our pan, we're going to stick it in our oven. Again, we have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna stick it here in the center rack and let it bake for about 25 minutes. In the meantime, we can make our icing. So let's get started on that. So while our cake is baking in the oven, we're gonna be making our icing. Um, you do wanna check on your cake about 15 minutes in. And for the remainder of the time that the cake is in the oven, you can um, cover it with aluminum foil. So here we have one cup of Greek yogurt. Pour that into our mixing bowl. We're gonna be adding three to four tablespoons of maple syrup. Great substitute for our maple syrup um, if, if you wanna try something is agave nectar. It's lower on the glycemic index. It's less processed as well. So after that, we have um, one teaspoon of our coconut sugar. The last two ingredients, we have our vanilla. We're gonna be doing one teaspoon of the vanilla. And half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And with that, you'll have your icing for the cake. Mix this. Ingredients well mixed together. Your icing should look, look a little bit something like that. So our cake has been in the oven for about 15 minutes. We're gonna take it out. Still has another 10 minutes to go, but what we wanna do is cover it with aluminum foil for the rest of the time. So it's looking 
Very nice, very delicious. Once you have it covered with aluminum foil, you're gonna stick it back in the oven for about another 10 minutes. So we'll check back a little bit later. So our cake should be done. We're gonna be taking it out of the oven and testing it out. Bring it over here. If you have a toothpick or some other instrument that you can use to test it to make sure that it's baked completely through, do so. Let's so have right a there. moment of silence right now. Completely clean. And look at that, guys. It looks beautiful. So what you want to do is, I'm just going to move it over here a bit. What you want to do is let this cool completely so that we can put our icing on top. Um, you don't want it to, you don't want to put the icing on right now or even when it's slightly warm because the icing is just going to melt off. Um, I know that a lot of us are impatient when it comes to cooking and baking, but you do have to be a little patient with this one and, and let it cool completely. So that's what we're going to do for now. Um, and then we're going to put our icing on top. So we're back to do the taste test for this delicious coconut carrot cake. This is Kevin's favorite part. Yes, it is. So let's dig in. Get the biggest one, because why not? Salud. Wow. Very good, babe. The cake is very moist. And it's very, it's delicious and it's good for your body. The oats, the flowers that we're using, they're very high in fiber, so it's great. It's, it will be better than any store-bought carrot cake that you're gonna buy. It's healthy, it's nutritious. Of course, we wouldn't recommend to eat the whole cake in one sitting, even though it's hard, but it's really good. Good job, babe. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button so we can continue to grow our channel. The information to our recipe and our social media is down in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I think we're done. Until next time, be well and stay safe. Peace.